Great work making it this far. Now it's your turn to drive. So far, we've built a two-dimensional mass spring system. It's pretty cool. It's the key building block for many simulations. Recall in lesson one, we used multiple springs connected together like this to model hair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a second spring and mass to your system. First, let's draw a new force diagram to see what's going on. Let's call our two masses, mass one and mass two, and our two springs, spring one and spring two. First, let's think about the new forces acting on mass one. As before, we have the gravity force acting downward, a spring one force pulling up towards the anchor, and a damping force acting in the opposite direction. However, now there is a new force due to the new spring connecting mass two. In this case, the displacement we use to calculate spring two force is the difference between both masses, mass two position minus mass one position. And there is also a damping force resisting the spring two force. So we need to add these two new forces to the X and Y components of the mass one net force calculation. Now consider the new mass we've added. It will experience the force of gravity as well as a spring two force minus the opposing spring two damping force. That's it for modifying our force calculation. At the top, we'll need new initial variables to represent both the position and velocity of mass two. I'll set the initial position of mass two so that it's below mass one. The initial velocity of mass two is zero as well. To add a new mass two, we have to double up all of our equations used for mass one. However, there are two key differences. For the mass two spring force calculations, we'll use mass two position minus mass one position as our displacement. And for the mass two net force calculations, we have mass two spring force minus mass two damping force. Finally, we just need to draw the new circle and line for this mass and spring. The new line will extend from mass one to mass two. The new circle will be the center of mass two's position. And that gives us this. Mass spring systems are really powerful. At Pixar, we don't just use them for hair. The trees in The Good Dinosaur were also simulated with a mass spring system, kind of similar to hair, but it had to represent a tree structure. Trees had branches, so we simulated them by having multiple line segments attached to each other, kind of like having hairs attached to hairs instead of only being attached to the scalp. Even clothing is simulated using masses and springs. In Brave, Merida had several garments that we needed to simulate, and each garment had their own spring values. These values were chosen to mimic different kinds of cloth, such as wool, cotton, and satin. As you can see, mass spring systems are super useful for modeling and simulating all kinds of different things. See if you can think of other materials that could be created using mass spring systems. And that's the goal of this final project. Your job is to modify this program to make whatever you can dream up. The program you spin off will automatically show up below under the spin offs tab, along with everyone else's. And I really encourage you to check out other creations to get new ideas for inspiration. Have fun and happy exploring.